Noah Brooks was a quarterback for Newark East High School who loved playing basketball casually. But headed into his senior year, the school's basketball coach convinced Noah to give basketball a shot and told him this. And it's special. I'm special. Your natural ability is, yes. So sure enough, he suited up and was named the starting point guard headed into his senior season. First game against Burton High School Hornets that Brooks would be starting and playing competitive basketball for the first time. He would open up getting his first assist here of his high school career, calling for the pick and roll again down low, make it two assists. Brooks still looking for his first points though as the point guard as he's calling for a pick and roll again and he's going right back to it with another assist. Eight to six, Newark leads as Brooks with the pick and roll again as this time it's gonna be taken to the rim. And Brooks with four assists already so far near the end of the first quarter, looking for his first points, and he's finally gonna get them on the fast break. Two points, four assists as we head into the second quarter. Brooks top of the key, and that shot's gonna fall for his first three. Up by four over Burton High School as Brooks dishes it down low for another assist. And this lead still at four for the Eagles. Lack with it. Right wing gives it off to Brooks. He has some room in the lane. He's going to drive and draw the foul. Go into the line for two. First one would fall. Second one from Brooks would be up, and he would go two for two. Seven points so far on the night as we are about nearing the end of the first half here. Six assists for Noah as well. Less than 30 seconds to go. Can he make it nine points? Yes, he will and one with an opportunity to make it 10 points and he does just that. Newark up by nine, 30 to 21, near the end of the first half. Brooks to the left side and he will get one last assist and that is how the first half will end here. Brooks with a 10 point performance and seven assists in the first half, almost at a double-double already here in his high school debut. I'm sure Brooks has not only a win in eyesight but also a double-double in his debut as we're nearing the end of the third quarter. Can he make it eight assists? Yes, he will. Two assists away from a double-double. Brooks, can he find nine? Down low to Brothers. He gets rejected. Brooks with the rebound, though, and he's going to draw a foul to the line for two, and he's going to miss the first one. Can't get a lucky bounce. Can he knock down the second one? Yes, he will. 11 points, eight assists. Still looking for that ninth and tenth. He has the ninth one away. Brooks now running the pick and roll. It works to perfection, and there it is. A double-double for the senior. As he's looked impressive in his high school debut so far, let's add some more points. 13 on the night total. As time would come to an end here in the fourth quarter, and Brooks is going to walk away with the victory in his high school debut. So after putting up a double-double in his basketball debut, Noah drew the attention of some colleges. He even had a recruit approach him after only seeing him play a single game. We'll see if Brooks and the Newark High Eagles can keep that momentum going against rival school Renfield High. Brooks looking to build off of a dominant performance in his first ever high school game, and he's going to do just that. Opening up this game with an assist for the Eagles first points. Can he make it two in a row? A little nifty move there and that would fall. Two assists and one rebound. Something we didn't see from Brooks last game but expanding his game it seems. Two rebounds now. Three assists for Brooks. Try to make it four. Yes he will with that elbow jumper. Still looking for his first points though as we've seen. Brooks is not a big score as he gets the line here. First free throw would be up and it would be good. Second free throw from Brooks. And that would fall as well. Two for two from the charity stripe visit. Pick and roll down low to Zyko, and that's going to fall for two. Brooks already at five assists here. It's not even halftime yet. Pull up, little jumper falls, something we don't see a lot from Brooks. As that would bring us to the end of the first half here. Noah Brooks with four points, three rebounds, and six assists. I'm sure after his debut game, he's looking to go for another double-double in this one, as that's going to get him to seven assists. He needs to start looking to score more, though, as he's going to dish it off again for his eighth assist of the night. Up in transition on the fast break. Brooks trailing after his pass. Sheffield, he knocks down that jumper. Another assist from Brooks. This time he gets it, taking it in the lane. And he's going to dish it behind the head for an assist and one. What a pass from Brooks. Having eyes in the back of his head is finally he's going to take a shot here and knock it down. Four points away from a double-double. Can he get this layup to fall? Yes, he will make it two points away. But it looks like Brooks went down with an injury on that play. He's going to stay in, though. That layup would fall, and he reaches his double-double, but he looks hurt as he's been limping around the court the rest of the game. But finally, 
it would come to a close with a 70-47 victory over Renfield. After yet another double-double, more colleges were interested in Brooks despite him being injured. Our next game, we had to sit out on the bench due to our injury we sustained against Renfield. But at halftime, we were losing bad. Coach wanted us to join the team in the second half, but we couldn't risk getting hurt even worse. And ultimately, our team lost by 29 without us on the court. And with one high school game left, Noah had one last shot to impress college coaches at the New York High School Invitational. Opening up the game here, Brooks going down low into the paint again. He's gonna find his first assist. He has definitely established himself as one of the best passing point guards in the country. I'm sure whatever school gets him will definitely be utilizing him strongly in the pick and roll game. As already at three assists and one rebound so far, Brooks finding his first points on the fast break layup there. Newark down by six, 10 to 16, Brooks kicking it. And that's gonna be another assist for him to four on the night. As we would move to the second quarter, Newark's deficit is growing, but Brooks knocking down a three there. We haven't seen many of those from him throughout the season, as he's not the greatest shooter. Something he'll definitely have to work on headed into college is at halftime. Five points, three assists from Brooks. His team is still down by 14 at this point as he's gonna get another assist here. The Eagles trying to dig into this deficit. Brooks with seven assists on the night now. Still looking to try to find the basket, see if he can get another double-double here, but he's gonna go back to the pick and roll for another assist, his eighth of the night. Down by 11, just over three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Pick and roll this time, Brooks attacks the basket. He's gonna convert and one. As he will go to the line for a three-point play the hard way, we'll see if he can convert, and that's gonna rim in and out. Brooks driving the lane now, he's gonna draw another foul, head back to the line. This time, two free throws for him, and he's gonna miss the first one again. Second one from Brooks is up, and he's gonna knock this one down this time. As with just under three minutes to go, it's not looking good for Newark here, as Brooks gets his 10th assist. But he would be subbed out with a minute 17 left to go in the game. And even with Brooks playing this time, his team still lost badly, 72 to 49. But he still impressed a lot of colleges with his performance this senior season. And it was finally time for Noah to choose what college he wanted to attend, which he will do in the next episode on Friday, December 9th at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time.